Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing, and today we are gonna do a review of these bad boys right here, the Eight Fans Breathable Waste Waders. Let's get into it. So before we get started with this 8fans waders review, I have to mention that 8fans did send us these waders to test and review, but in no way did they say we have to be positive. We told them straight up, you know, every time we do reviews on this channel, no matter what happens, we're 100% honest. We're going to use them, we're going to beat the crap out of them, and we're going to review them after about a month or so. And that's what I'm doing here. So if you guys have checked out the Fly Fishing in Montana vlog series, you'll notice that I've been wearing these quite a bit. And I've been using these waders with these, the 8fans wading boots. And these are also super comfortable. The neoprene booties fit perfectly inside of these. And I'm gonna do a separate review on these as well. When that's ready, there'll be a link down in the description and there'll be a link up here. Um, but this set, perfect set, you know, with the boots and the waders does not cost a lot of money. So you're not gonna break the bank, hitting the river and keeping yourself dry. I've been fishing them for almost a month now around the small streams, creeks and, big rivers around here in northwest Montana and I have to say I'm really impressed with them especially for the price which is what we'll get into a little bit later but when the when it comes to price these waders are pretty incredible they're not really meant to compete with the big brands like the sims that are going to cost you 500 bucks or the Orvis pros or something that are going to be you know 400 500 bucks these are in a different class of their own but if you're just looking to get into fly fishing or even if you want a backup pair of waders or you poked a hole in yours during your fishing trip and you need another pair these ones are perfect and actually i've been using them on and off as my primary waders and they're great for that as well there's absolutely nothing wrong with these they've also been just warm enough you know they're not too hot when it's hot outside and they're not too cool when it's freezing cold in the mornings here so when you're on the water casting away i've been out when it's been 37 degrees celsius uh casting away and at this they haven't been too hot for me you know i felt pretty comfortable in them and I've also been fishing them early in the mornings here and a few of the mornings it was down to maybe 12 or 13 degrees Celsius and those were also comfortable they kept me warm enough so for me they've been a great set of waders and I've really been enjoying fishing with them they're a waist wader as well so they don't come all the way up to your chest which keeps you a little bit cooler and just kind of makes them a little bit easier to get on and off and they have a really handy pocket here inside the buckle and it's just right along your waistline and you can put you know all the things you need to be waterproof in there like your phone and they also have this really nice handy adjustable belt buckle that's quick release it's plastic super light and it's comfortable around your waist you know you can get it tight uh, you can loosen it off whenever you want and you can hang a couple things off the side here like i've been hanging my bear spray out there because here in montana there's lots of bears we have to worry about um, so basically for waist waders they have all the features that you'd expect you're not going to have the um, the mass amounts of pockets that you would get with a chest wader where you'd have pockets on your chest maybe pockets along the side of your legs instead these ones just have that main pocket inside but that's perfectly fine because every time i've been fishing with them i've been using a pack or a vest so the storage has not been an issue and i typically don't rely on my waders for my storage needs you know that's why i have a vest that's why i have a pack uh, that's why I have a waste pack, whatever it is that I'm using. Now that I've talked a bit about how I've been fishing them and how I felt about them, let's talk a bit about their construction. So these are made with three layers of breathable material and every single one of their seams on the inside is taped with a water resistant taping and it just kind of double enforces every single seam that's stitched into these things and when you turn them inside out and you look at the seams and how they've covered them up you can tell that they took a lot of thought into this and made sure that they were making a product that wasn't going to leak easily. They also come with a really handy removable knee pad and I've actually loved the knee pads in this because so many times you're kneeling down in the river, it's rocky, uh, it might be sharp in some spots and you kneel down to get that photo with your fish or just to change flies or whatever and it's not only hard on your knees but it's hard on waders. So what what 8 fans has done is they've put an extra couple layers around your knees as well as a removable knee pad that comes in and out really easy with just a velcro release and i've been loving that because all the times i've been kneeling down i've appreciated that extra padding and not all waders have that particularly not in this price range the booties on these waders are four millimeters, 100% neoprene, and they're also double taped along the seams. And they have a really handy gravel guard at the top there, so you can hook that on your laces and make sure that no debris, rocks, sticks, or anything else is getting inside the boots that might puncture a hole in there. 
And lastly, about the makeup of these waders here, they come in a handy mesh bag, a carrying bag, so you know you can throw them when they're dry, throw them in there. Um, but because it's a mesh bag, you can even throw them in a little bit wet. You know, it's gonna, all the water's gonna run off of it. You can throw it in the back of your truck. Um, I would say that's just temporary though. When you get home, definitely it's worth hanging these waders up. You don't want them to get mildewy or anything like that, but the mesh bag is a nice added touch. So next up, I wanna talk about the sizing of these waders. So I got the large size and it does fit me really well. I think that 8 Fence does a good job of making every size of their waders, you know, a little bit forgiving. If you get a size too big, it's still gonna fit you, still gonna be comfortable. If you get a size too small, it's probably okay as well. The main thing I wanted to make sure is that the neoprene booties would fit me. So I ordered the large. I'm about six feet tall, around 200, 205 pounds, and I have size 10, 10 and a half boots. And so the neoprene booties fit me perfectly fine. And the waders are just about the right length. In, in hindsight, I probably would have ordered one size down. So that would be the medium um, because I read the sole size on their sizing charts, which you can check out on 8Fans websites, all the sizing charts to get the exact pair for you. Um, but I looked at the medium size soles and they also would fit probably a 10 and 10 and a half size foot. And what that would do for me, I have shorter legs, so it would bring the knee pads up a little bit on my legs. These are a tiny bit long for me, uh, but I do have short legs for a six foot tall guy. So I think if you're six feet tall, either the large or the medium, both of those would fit you well. And like I said, 8Fence does a good job of making them really forgiving in their sizes. So if you look on their website, all the sizes of these, uh, they come small, medium, large, large stout, extra large, extra large stout, and extra extra large. And it seems that the extra large stout have a longer inseam, uh, a little bit longer hip circumference, actually quite a bit longer, uh, quite a bit of bigger hip circumference. And everything's just a little bit bigger on the stout ones. And then the extra extra large obviously is their largest size. So if you're really tall and you have really big feet, those are the ones you're gonna to wanna to get. But for me, the large were totally fine and I could have also done with a medium, like I said. So moving on, let's talk about the price. This is where these waders really shine in my opinion. I have some waders down in my garage right now that are you know, up around the $500 mark and I've had waders around the $200 mark in the past. These come in at around $90, depending on the size that you get. Great deal for these. That's just the perfect entry level price for a set of waders that are gonna keep you dry. They're gonna be comfortable, they're gonna be breathable, and they're gonna fit you well. So the price is where these shine. You know, you don't expect to get this quality of, of build from a cheap set of waders. And waders is something I've always said, you know, you don't wanna cheap out on because the last thing you want is to be on the river and to have a leak. And that could ruin your entire fishing trip if you're relying on waiting for the entire trip. These, I really don't think you have to worry about them. It's not like I've put these through the ringer for years and years yet, but just looking at the build quality, seeing the double tape seams and how they've worked for me, and I've been beating them up pretty hard here in Montana, I can see these lasting for a really long time. So for the price, as of now, I have to say, these are a great value. And lastly, with all of our waders reviews and all of our reviews for any fly fishing gear products, uh, what are my final thoughts? So I think I've made it pretty clear. I think that for the price, these are some of the best waders I've ever had. I haven't even had waders in the $80 to $100 category before. And I have to say that I was really, really pleasantly surprised with the build quality, the comfort, the breathability, and just the overall functionality of these waders here. So if you're in the market for a cheap set of waders that aren't gonna break your bank, you know, you don't have to go spend four or 500 bucks on a pair of waders. I really do think that the eight fans waders will be a good choice for you. Like I said earlier in the video, they're not meant to compete with those incredibly high priced Orvis and Sims waders, which aren't even in the same category. These are great for what you want them for, to keep you dry while you're on the river. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what waders you use. And as always, hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you'll be notified next time we come out with a new video. All right, until next time, tight lines.